Hello everyone. I received another angel dream. If you believe the dream I had is not angelic but demonic, you can tell me that. You can correct me if I am wrong, but I believe it is angelic. And let me say this as well. I don't really remember the dream very well. Maybe I should have recorded after I woke up. I don't know if I could at that time. I'm not sure. Anyways, I believe there were a group of us. Maybe six of us. Now, I remember there was one angel, but I'm not sure if there were more than one. It may have been, but let's say it was only one. At least one I kind of remember. And in that dream, I believe we had, for myself, let me say it for myself, I believe I had so much joy and I don't remember if the others had a lot of joy as well, but I believe I remember having joy. Someone may ask me, how does angel look? How does angels look? I don't know everything to angels, but I believe when in this dream, it is kind of hard to explain. They look human, but in, in the way they appear, I believe you can tell they are not human. Like the matter of their bodies is not like ours. From what I've seen, there are probably many angels out there that appear in different ways. I don't really know, but sometimes when I see them, like their bodies are not really like ours. What comes to my mind, not exactly like, you know, who um, Casper is. And I, I am not saying angels are like Casper, but do you know, like the matter of his body? It is really hard to describe. Like, I would say their bodies are not really, I want to say not really solid, but that doesn't really, like how our bodies are, it's not like this. For some reason, I want to say transparent, but it's not transparent. I don't really know how to really describe it, how their bodies are. Not like smoke, not like transparent. Maybe if I were to see an image of it, maybe I could show it. I don't know. Some people may say, Kevin, what you saw is a demon. And let me say this, I have seen demons in my dreams before. And uh, I believe I've had many demonic experiences before and the experience i am referring to it did not seem demonic i believe it was very different anyways to get back to my story like i said i don't know whether it was one angel or more than one but one by one let me see if I am saying this right. If I remember correctly, one by one, the angel was taking each person up, I guess, up to heaven. I assume it was to heaven. And 
when the angel would take them up, it was if they would, I would say it was as if they were going so fast to where you could see them, but when they would go up, you could not see them, if that makes any sense. As if they would disappear, but it wasn't really like they disappeared, but they went up, I guess I can say. And let me say this was a dream. So when it got around to my time, <laughs> for whatever reason, <laughs> it is a dream. Somehow, I was able to go to another place and uh, visit someone in my family, telling that person that, you know, I am leaving. Don't think I did something bad to take my life and stuff like that. Like, I don't really remember the conversation fully, but trying to explain to that person that this is where I am going and nothing bad happened. Pretty much that is what I told that individual. And at the same time, I don't know why, but I was crying to that person. Not like very sad tears, but like I am going away, if that makes any sense. And after that, I don't know if the angel came to me, but I think around that time, the dream ended. And I felt so encouraged. Very, very encouraged. I believe I woke up crying a little, like teary-eyed, I guess. This dream happened, can I say, let me say this, before I had this dream, maybe the night before something really bad happened and I was a bit disturbed. And if I remember correctly, I prayed to God about it. But, you know, I kind of know how things are in a sense. I know as a Christian, we are going to go through bad things. And since I know I am Christian, like I can't like hold on to things very long if that makes any sense i can't like oh this person did this and i am going to hold on to it to where i am going to always be sad or always be mad or always feel very bad i know that i have to like when bad things happen to me i know i have to let it just fall off, if that makes any sense. Like the problems come to you and don't hold on to them, let it fall off. But at the same time, I am human and I do feel emotional pain. I do get hurt, of course, but I have learned, try to forgive as quickly as possible try to forgive as quickly as possible and um i may have prayed i think i prayed and then later i went to sleep and then i woke up with not woke up with that dream i went to sleep and i believe that's when i had that dream to be quite honest i'm already motivated to live for jesus christ but that dream really encouraged me. Like, in a sense, telling me that 
I am not saying that I am perfect. I am not saying I do everything right. But I believe that dream told me like, hey, like living for Jesus Christ is not in vain. Like you are not wasting your time. Like there is a purpose for what you are doing. Yes, you may have hard times. Bad things may happen to you, but let it roll off of you. Let it, like, don't hold on to it. Drop it. I am not saying to stop being cautious. I am not saying that we should be very naive and purposely walk into trouble when we don't have to. I am not saying that. But don't let your problems keep you down. Like, yes, you will have problems, but be able to forgive and move on. If that dream came from God and if it is not demonic, I thank God for that dream. I really do thank God for it because I really try, I honestly really try to be more patient, to be more humble, to be more, what is that word, more meek. You know, some people may believe that, Kevin, you don't really stand up for yourself. Kevin, you are, you are a pushover. Do you know how I was years ago? Do you know how rude and mean and like I was pretty bad back in my past? Like what you see now, I was not that way before. Like it took so much time, effort, and by the grace of God too, it took so much for me to become the way I am now. And I have to give thanks to God for it. So I am here to tell you, you know, you may be trying to do what is right. People may see you as weak or people may know that you are trying to live for Jesus Christ and may try to take advantage of that because of what you are trying to do. They may think like, hey, this person is trying to live for God. So let me purposely say this and do this and do all these bad things because I know he or she is going to respond, you know, in a particular way. Always keep your head up. Don't let your problems stress you out too much and if you do become stressed let it roll off of you i would say like how water rolls off of a duck's back which i don't know if it actually does that or not <laughs> stay calm be peaceful even if the other person is trying to provoke you or trying to make you do something that is bad, don't let your problems influence you to turn your back on Jesus Christ. Don't let it. Because sometimes that kind of comes to my mind. Like I should do this. And I should do that because these particular problems are coming to me. Do what is right. Let me stop here. May God bless us.